probably excited to, to finally get back in Verizon tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's exciting for us. A uh, long road trip. Uh, we didn't come out, you know, like like we thought we would, or right. how we planned to do. So uh, to get a home win, that would, that would be good. From a mental standpoint, how do you put the last one and the way that all choked down in the end behind you? Get ready for um, I mean, it's in the past now. Um, you know, we got a long road ahead of us. Uh, this 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 game Saturday it'll be a tough one. You know they're, they're a lot faster in transition, uh, like to shoot threes and you know just get up and down. So it, it'll be a tough. One. You've had a few games now without Joshua and without Jabril. Is there a comfort level starting to develop on the team in terms of the rotation? How many minutes you guys are gonna have to play and that kind of thing? No, I, mean, I think we have we have guys who you know are, are going to step up. Um, who are really going to step up? That's that's pretty much what it boils down to. You know, guys just filling that void. And uh, we'll, we'll have them back too soon enough, so uh, we'll, we'll just prepare for it and you know continue to play. And for you personally, when you you know you know you may have to go 40 minutes to every game, you know how does that? How do you kind of prepare for that mentally? Um, taking care of my body. That's that's just you know the biggest thing. Um, icing, you know, just getting rest. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just taking care of my body. That off-season work that you put in, mm -hmm. just getting into that. Do you feel like that's been physically been paying off? For you? It, it it has. It has. Uh, just preparing for games like this. Um, I think it, it's helped me a lot. You feel that you and Martell have leaned on a little too heavily now um, on the scoring level? Not at all. Uh, you know, just yeah, I, I know in crucial situations, times will be called on where me or Markell has to score the ball. But, you know, we have guys on our team who, who can score as well. You know, we just got to get them in rhythm and, you know, get them shot, good looks at the basket and shots that they're comfortable with. You mentioned Seton Hall shooting threes. Talk about Fupon <laughs> Edwin. Um, I know he's coming off. Of, he was coming off an of injury, I think. Um, you know, he's he's not as aggressive going to the basket as much as he was last year. But you know, he, he's a terrific player, and you know, he's looking to, to get his, himself back in the groove. So uh, in a big game matchup. Do they look more settled now to you on tape as opposed to last year? They do. I think I think they're starting to you know come come into their own. Um, they're starting to you know fill out who they are as a team, and I think they'll be you know. You had kind of two road extremes these last two games. In Indianapolis, you're getting cheered by family and Xavier. I heard a few people uh, saying some stuff. Was that, was that kind of, was those kind <laughs> yeah, of I, I was expecting it though. Uh, that's why I was, you know, I was hoping to come out with a win from Xavier. That was, that was that one was more, you know, more so my biggest thing than, than even Butler. Even Butler was at home, but you know, I was once a Xavier commit, so um, you know, we didn't come out with it, but they had to come here too. So definitely. Do you do you look at these next two home games in any way as kind of must wins? Because then after that you have Creighton, you have Villanova, and then you have Michigan State, and that's a rough stretch. Yeah, every every game, you know, we look at it as a must win. So I, I haven't looked past Seton Hall, I haven't looked past Creighton, or you know, it, any game uh, down the line. You know, I'm, I'm just focused on Seton Hall. Anything else, guys?